Today's evening devotional. God abhors caste. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verses 12 and 13. Behold, a Canaanitish woman came out from those borders, and cried, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Matthew chapter 15 verse 22. The people of this district were of the old Canaanite race. They were idolaters, and were despised and hated by the Jews. To this class belonged the woman who now came to Jesus. She was a heathen. Christ did not immediately reply to the woman's request. He received this representative of a despised race as the Jews would have done. The woman urged her case with increased earnestness, bowing at Christ's feet, and crying, Lord, help me. She yields at once to the divine influence of Christ, and has implicit faith in his ability to grant the favor she asks. She begs for the crumbs that fall from the master's table. If she may have the privilege of a dog, she is willing to be regarded as a dog. She has no national or religious prejudice or pride to influence her course, and she immediately acknowledges Jesus as the Redeemer, and as being able to do all that she asks of him. The Savior is satisfied. He has tested her faith in him. Turning to her with a look of pity and love, he says, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. From that hour her daughter became whole. The demon troubled her no more. In faith the woman of Phoenicia flung herself against the barriers that had been piled up between Jew and Gentile. Against discouragement, regardless of appearances that might have led her to doubt, she trusted the Savior's love. It is thus that Christ desires us to trust in him. The blessings of salvation are for every soul. Nothing but his own choice can prevent any man from becoming a partaker of the promise in Christ by the gospel. Caste is hateful to God. He ignores everything of this character. In his sight the souls of all men are of equal value.